the return of Cronisha is finally a reality, guys. So you should have known I was going to make a Cronisha video, and it is finally here. Now, a lot of people are wondering, what the heck is Kronika up to in this timeline? Well, I'm here to tell you that with my educated guess of speculation and theories. So basically, my theory, speculation, and educated guess is, of course, none other than she's back for revenge. But her plan is this. Her plan is to show Liu Kang a fate far worse than death. And the only way to do something like that is for him to constantly have to live in failure. Not only live in failure, but live in his own failures. And in order for that to happen, she's going to be the puppet master behind the screens that's going to be making these, I said behind the screens, behind the scenes that's going to be making these things happen. Now, I do suspect that Cronisha, AKA Chronica, is the one who released the Tarkat disease. Now, that could be possible, it could not be possible, it could be a Shang Tsung thing, but either way, she's still the catalyst for all of these things that are happening because she went and found your boy Shang Tsung out there in the woods, licking his wounds, getting ready to end it all. So she sent him on a mission, and that's when your boy was like, all right, you know what, boom. I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to let everybody have it at this point. Basically, is what he was on. So Kronika is definitely going to be visiting each character and kind of influencing them into their own direction and sending them on paths that they were on in the previous timeline. That's what I'm seeing that's going to happen here. Now, of course, Kronika is going to need to power up at some point. And in order for her to power up, she's going to use Shang Tsung to collect those souls, which is number one. That's the theory. And then number two, she's going to influence your boy General Cow. Uh, I said General Cow. General Shao. So that way he can go after Dark Magic or Onaga's Magic. And once he gets Onaga's Magic, she can begin to absorb Onaga's Magic on top of using Shang Tsung's souls to get herself back to 100% full Titan level is what I think. So I do think there is a recipe, an ancient recipe to become a Titan by using other methods. And that's probably what she's going to do. Now, a lot of people are asking, do Kronika still have her memory in this timeline? And the answer is absolutely yes. She still has her memory. Now, there has been a thing that it's lore that's been going around. And that thing was that, you know, gods can die and they are reborn as human, but they have no memory. But they eventually find a purpose and go back to what their original mission was. We heard Fujin talk about this with uh with Jax one time about how he was sent to, sent to live among his people and and things of that nature basically we also seen it in one of the endings now and again i will be making a documentary that will have these clips and everything it'll be like an extended version of it i'm probably gonna do that sometime on tuesday uh so give me some time i actually gotta start working on it i got multiple documentaries i'm backed up on i still owe you guys that tarkat documentary i still owe you guys that illuminati part two documentary it's a lot that's old so i'm definitely going to be paying up for you guys so i'm really going to need you to stay tuned but yeah with that being said, Kronika is definitely aware she has the memories, and I believe she's going to be slowly but surely giving these memories back to people. And I, I believe when Shang Tsung is giving back his memories or gets memories of him past self, then that right there alone is going to unlock all of the knowledge and secrets that he had from the previous timeline. Therefore, possibly you know, giving him what he needs to become a formidable opponent. Now, a lot of you probably saying, oh, Kronika don't have that power. She can't give him back his memories. Yes, she can. So stay tuned for that documentary because I'm going to be showing you proof just how it can be done because it has been done already. It's been done. It's a proven fact that that type of thing can happen. So uh, I'll explain it then in that documentary. So from now, you're just going to have to take the story with it. Now, you're probably wondering, why the heck do I got Jade and Kotal Khan up here on the screen? Well, I've just been feeling kind of jadish lately, you know? Um, you know, I've been playing some Mortal Kombat 11 or whatever it is, and I've just been beating the brakes off people with Jade, doing the down one uppercut, 
It's one of my favorite moves. If I could uppercut you 112 times in a match, I would. If I can get five uppercuts in, please believe I'm going to. I don't even have to fight you when I'm playing with Jay. I just got to focus on collecting my uppercuts. That's all I really care about until your head pop off your shoulders. That's that. But anyway, um, again, I know this video is fairly short, but I wanted to make a video for you guys so that way you can have something to kind of sink your teeth into because I'm telling you, Kronika is back. The hashtag slide for Kronisha Army is here. You know, so go ahead, hop in them comments. Y'all know what to do. I want to see you say it hashtag slide for chronica because ain't nothing more gangster in the world than a woman sliding for her own death chronica came back from the dead just to slide on her ops now a lot of you are wondering how is chronica back well stay tuned because i'm going to be speaking on that in another video now you know i gotta milk it i gotta milk it Come on now, and I put out three videos a day, so I gotta save some of these good topics for other videos to keep you guys tuned and to keep you guys interested as to what's going on. Your boy doing three videos a day now. You know, I'm big popping. I'm big popping right now. Ain't nobody else on YouTube doing three videos a day. And so far, I only missed one day where I did not upload three videos, and that's because I had to unexpectedly work a new job yesterday. I went for an interview, but I actually ended up working the actual job right then and there on the spot which was lit but for the amount of money they was offering how could your boys say no i couldn't you know i had to get that i had to get that skrilla i had to get them dead presidents i had to get that munanio you know so with that being said um stay tuned more is coming to the channel oh really really quickly i'm going to tell you this I am going to be taking the members area very serious going forward. I am working on new member tiers, so there is gonna be a full rebranding of the members area. It's gonna be fully rebranded. Um, members will have special privileges. Members will be involved in the creation of merchandise. Members will be added on PlayStation. That's what's gonna happen, especially when you get to a certain tier level. And members will become moderators automatically. That's what's gonna happen, but of course, it's going to happen at a certain level. So with that being said, some of you will stay moderators and some of you will no longer be moderators. It depends on your activity level. So if you've been tuning in to all of the, the, the lives and the chats and you've been tuning in really, really good, then don't worry because your mod status is not going anywhere. But if you haven't been participating like that, then I'm gonna have to remove it from you because we have to make sure that we can maintain a, uh, a work schedule to where people can actually tune up and work these videos. So far, you only have to work once a day because I only do premieres at night and I go live every here and there. You know, also a lot of you been asking what happened because I said I was gonna stream the combat cast. Well, like I said, I ended up having to go to work that exact same day. So that's the reason why I did not stream the combat cast. But don't worry, that is something we will be able to go over in the future just for the hell of it to kind of get a look at everything. And see what's up with all the characters but anyway back on topic here um like i said the merchandise is coming the slide for chronica t-shirts are coming and the clout demon t-shirts are coming so i'm gonna go ahead actually i'm gonna go ahead and pop this up here on your screen real quick you see this t-shirt right here this is going to be the clout demon hashtag slide for chronica t-shirt it's going to say slide for chronica on the back which is going to be super duper dope and then this one right here you see on your screen this is the wave report clout demon t-shirt right here it's also going to be a poster so i will be posting links as to where you can buy these things in the future and i'm working my butt off to make it extremely affordable now i did have a partnership with a store but they're just too expensive they want you guys to spend 60 dollars just to get a shirt and i'm not with that at all so i'm looking for a cheaper company to get it done or i'll just buy the equipment and print the shirts myself and sell it to you guys but i definitely want you to sound off in the comment sections below let me know would do you think of the merch which one of these merchandises would you purchase and how much would you actually pay what's the highest you would pay and what's the lowest you would pay because i want to create a brand of clout demon uh images that you guys would enjoy because it's the clout brand basically it's the clout brand simple as that so i'll be making inspiring closes uh i said closes inspiring clothing 
and some clothes that just has nice things on it and stuff like that especially Mortal Kombat Slans of course we got uh, Sly for Chronica we got Big Chronisha we got Alopecia Swag we got all types of stuff so I'll be using your guys' comments to be able to create merch and things like that and shout out to my boy Chocolate Ice because I do have some um, some Chocolate Ice merch that's going to be coming it's going to be uh, I ain't going to tell you what it looked like but Chocolate Ice already know what it's going to look like it's so secret to the point he don't even know he getting merch he just now finding out why you guys are finding out so moderators i will be getting with you guys at some point in the future so we can go over this kind of merch stuff and start getting you guys set up but again i appreciate you guys so much for tuning in i really appreciate it if you're watching this video for the first time make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily motor combat content with that being said thanks for watching catch you in the next one the go to frames we outside in public baby please pull up your friends if they say it's something we ain't even shaking hands pull up where the beef and now they want to change the plans reason why they want it because we shooting that they mans yeah hey and it's all part of the plan why she keep on calling because she know i'm high demand so in love with me i got her on command she sucked me inside the coop i say and i'm your biggest fan Yo, she pull up whenever I lay. I made it to the top row, you can see I'm living great. I'm in Cali with some bitches on the beach, we bring a sand. Keep that 30 on the seat, it's you like curry with the left hand.